up guys, it's Steph, and today we are going to be doing something hopefully fun, hopefully entertaining for you guys, probably painful for me, <laughs> um, and I'm going to be reviewing Dear Evan Hansen, which doesn't sound very entertaining on its own, but I'm going to be doing it while eating super sour lemon candy that I imported from Japan. Now this stuff, the stuff that's in English at least, is supposed to be super lemon, super juicy, what's super lemon candy, and it's like super sour and on the back there's even a comic like it's so juicy and like it's supposed to be really sour so I'm like look at this comic book print I've had this for a couple days and I haven't opened it just specifically for this video just for you guys and it's supposed to be super lemon candy hopefully that means super sour let's rip it open a bit I'm almost afraid to tear up this packaging because I love the comic stuff on it and we have ah, little tiny super lemon candies they feel round uh <laughs> Turning into a candy exposition, so let's review the candy, shall we? It's very round, very hard to cut packaging, not really. Oh, it's okay, so it has the white powder on top. Well, it says on here too what it has uh, lemon taste powder, super lemon candy, mild lemon. Okay, so outside is lemon taste powder, then comes the mild lemon candy, then super lemon candy, which is hopefully the sour parts that'll make the video really interesting. So, oh my oh, 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 god, holy shit. Oh, it was, oh my god. Okay, it's a short, it's a short. Oh, it's so bad. Let me show you. Oh my god. So, your, your attention is a story about, holy, oh my god. I'm not expecting it to be that bad starting off. <laughs> the Evan Hansen is a musical about this very introverted, very, oh, this, oh my god. Very introverted, very shy boy. He doesn't have a lot of friends. He has a broken arm. That is also a thing that's in it. Okay, I'm starting to calm down. Okay. That, that white powder around it. Oh my god, that's, that's sour. Oh my god. That actually burned. Um, anyway. Jeremy Hansen's story about this boy. He's very, he's very shy. He's very, he keeps to himself. He's very lonely. He has a broken arm at the start of the musical. And... He's supposed to be writing these letters to himself, Dear Evan Hansen, today's gonna be a good day, and here's why. I'm really afraid for the next layer of this candy, because right now it's like mild, and it's supposed to get the super stuff, and I'm scared. <laughs> and he's printing out one of these letters when he meets Connor Murphy, another kid that goes to his school who has some anger issues. And he's like, he, they kind of get into, Ur! and he's like, hey, let me sign your cast, I'm gonna sign your cast. So he signs it, he signs his name on there. Then, it, it's like nothing ever happened. He, he took the letter from Evan, that Evan wrote to himself. And so Evan's like, well, I don't have that anymore. He goes home. It's like nothing happened. I believe it's the next day he gets called into the principal's office. And it turns out that Connor Murphy has committed suicide. In his, Connor's pocket, they found the note that Evan had written to himself. But because it starts out with Dear Evan Hansen, they believe this is a, a note that Con this is the note that Connor wrote to Evan. From there, it becomes a jumble of lies that Connor can't... Connor. From there, it becomes a jumble of that, that Evan can't seem to pull himself out of. I almost want to bite it, but I know that'll be disastrous. I'm doing it. I can't bite it. I can't bite a little bit. It's not too bad. The outside was the worst part. <laughs> this musical has beautifully gripping songs, has beautiful imagery with the screens on stage that help bring in the emphasis of this musical set in the present day with technology and how information can be spread so far so fast. I can't get all this candy, man. <laughs> that literally burned my mouth. I'm gonna pop another one when I talk about the musical numbers. Just so we can watch my pain again. Because that powder is where all the pain is. I just spit. That powder is where all the pain is. I'm afraid. Okay. So, the musical numbers in this musical are absolutely beautiful. We have songs about no one deserves to be forgotten. You have songs that show the other side of his character were painted to believe to be a certain way, but his family has known him as someone different his whole life. Oh my god. You have songs about loss, about regret, about new beginnings, about betrayal. Okay, well I'm gonna tell shower. Okay. It's an all-around beautiful musical. I know I did not describe it. It's the best way you can describe it because it's just an absolutely beautiful musical. 
it will make you cry. Even if you're not watching a stage production, you will cry. Unless you're heartless and you have no soul. Then you won't cry, but... <laughs> when the villain falls, the kingdom does in grave. Oh, this one. This book um, has all the dialogue and the music from the musical. Which is really rad for someone who is a theater nerd and also a book nerd. And it has this beautiful artwork inside with featuring all the characters. It's awesome, pretty awesome. Like inside it has a little description of the book. In the back we have all the reviews of the musical. And it's just really nice for someone who's like super nerd and wants to know, or wants to learn the lines and wants to learn the dialogue and wants to learn more about the characters. It doesn't really give you that much of an insight, but it tells you like the different stage directions and things like that. And that's why I got it. I love it. I have this one and I have one for In the Heights. <laughs> I would love if more musicals had things like that. Like I've said, if camp if I want to start a campaign for Be More Chill to have a book like this. Because that would be simply amazing. <laughs> Whew. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about Dear Evan Hansen. The sour candies were would start off very sour, then they just become kind of a mild lemon head. But starting off, dear God, it's worse than Warhead. I love Warheads, but this, this is... Homa, it burns your tongue with the sour. Like, wow. Japan don't take their candy lightly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was going to be more of a, like a, me suffering and you guys laughing. But, yeah. <laughs> I know I didn't do the best at describing this musical either. Because I have such... I have feelings about this musical. That it just hits my heart. And, like, the, some of these songs just hit me so bad. And it's just incredibly beautiful. And if you haven't heard of it or if you haven't listened to it i highly recommend listening to the soundtrack because it is absolutely beautiful and if you can see the show i will be forever jealous of you but also you should totally see it it's no longer available on youtube but there was at one point a basement musical where these these this group of friends put on their own production of the musical and you got to kind of see what it was like minus the giant screens they have and the actual actors or the actual actors from broadway but you know it was really nice it was really awesome I don't, I think it ended up getting taken down because I haven't been able to find it since I first watched it. But it was, it was amazing. It was beautiful. It, this musical is very impactful, very, like, very influential, I think. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. I'm waving through a window. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little, fun little video. Um, if you want to see me do something with, like, more sour candies in my mouth, then I'll try it. Because I thought it would last longer. Last a, a little bit, but I think we can get even sour -er, er Is that a word? Even more sour. That sounds better. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later.